Today I am going to sort out the airing cupboard that's on our landing. Um, this is the um, decal cupboard that I've done and this is the airing cupboard and behind me is the bathroom. Um, I do actually sort this out regularly but every January or thereabouts I do have um, it all pulled out, go through all my towels, bedding, if there's any in here, I said bedding's usually left in the um, bedrooms where it belongs, unless it's come from the caravan. Sometimes I air clothes in here, so um, I'll show you the before. So I'm hoping to tweak it a little bit. Um, it does look a lot, like I said, a lot of our places in our home are fairly organised and our systems do work, but we still have too much stuff which is why I keep going through in January time to review, declutter and organise. So let me just show you the airing cupboard. So this is the airing cupboard and I'm going to just show you an overview of it and then I'm going to go through it and I'll show you afterwards. There is some um, clothing and the mats that I've washed recently which is over this part. I do store a majority of um, linens, um, towels, flannels, cushions, cushion covers, tablecloths, all that sort of thing. And so I'm going to go through it all, um, put it all out and see exactly what I can get rid of and also review what I haven't used in the last 12 months. Normally I would take everything out the airing cupboard at once but what I'm going to do is one shelf at a time due to the fact I'll see how my energy levels are and how my back and legs are. So if I start with the top segment which is this box which um, actually um, contains all my cushion covers. I have a few extra cushions up there and then there's a basket behind that that holds my Christmas pillows. So I'm gonna take all that out. I'm gonna try and do it on the landing because obviously it's easier with the M cover be here and see what the lighting's like and see if there's any pieces that I can start getting rid of. Right, so I've got the two boxes here. I've got my blue crate. So I use these um, a lot around our home. I bought a whole um, batch of them from Tesco's. They were like £1.33 each after one Christmas. And what I like about these sort of crates, they're fairly sturdy, but they collapse flat when not in use. And then I've just got this green um, basket here or bucket. This actually contains um, cushion covers. And yes, I have got an awful lot of cushion covers. I tend to um, change them out from season to season. And sometimes, you know, two or three times in a month if we're not got an occasion. Um, this is due to the fact that, um, and I've said this before, I can't swap furniture around in our rooms. Not like I used to, especially when my boys were little, little, very little, I should say. Uh, when they were at school and they used to come home and one or both the bedrooms used to be swapped around for one reason or another. Um, I just like to refresh things, especially when I wasn't working at the time when they were growing up. So I'm going to go through these. Um, I may um, show you pieces. I may just fast forward it. We're going to see how it goes because I don't know how long this video is going to be. So in this one, I have got a few Christmas um, cushions um, that are in our bedroom with the bed in. And I know there's one that's um, down um, further down here that hasn't actually gone in the basket, so I'll sort that out. The first two are definite keeps. These are these two. Um, I got these from Next a few years ago and I got them so reasonable. They were sort of like £2 each with the cover and the actual pad inside. And so I was really pleased with those. And I do like these and they are really comfortable and soft. So there I'm definitely keeping. This one, I didn't use this Christmas. And this is actually a um, question mark. Um... And as I said, I do like it. It's quite bitty. I could get one of those, um, either a blunt um, razor blade, you know, razor, or I've got 
I have got one of those, um, what do you call them, fuzz removers, you know, it's like a little battery operated thing, but unfortunately it doesn't seem um, to work very well. So this one is going to be a question mark. I did not use this last year, or yeah, this Christmas just gone, and I'm quite certain I didn't use it the previous Christmas, so that's two Christmases it's not been used. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it go. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, it's Christmas. Now, this is a question mark. These are lovely. I think these must have been Asta. And I used to have these out. Now, did I use these this Christmas? No, I used these. I possibly did. I can't remember. <laughs> um, there's a question mark on these two. So I'm definitely keeping these two so they can go back in this basket. And I've got a question mark on these two. So I'm going to put those back for the time being. I'm going to see what else I can get rid of. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm on this, like, um, seesaw. Some things, I like them to be useful but decorative at the same time. These stripy ones are useful they're comfortable I use them anyway and on the bed when I mean use them I mean put my head on or whatever you know prop up in bed when I'm with a book or something especially over Christmas these as you can see these are more what I call decorative cushions nothing wrong with them perfect condition but they're just decorative they're not really they're not really big enough um, for anything else. So that's why there's going to be a question mark on those two. But I'm going to put them back in here. Because I'm really not certain about those two. Right, I do have two other cushions. I've got this heart one that I got reduced from B&M. Um, it was down to a pound because there was a button missing. But what I want to do is now i've pulled it out i want to find something to go there and have that on our bed because it is neutral it's like woolly yes it is quite decorative as well which is borderline um but because it's i'm coming up to valentine's day i want to see if i don't do anything with this in the next day or so it's going and this other one this one i got not so long back was it last year when we was I think it was was we in Norfolk? It could have been when we was in Norfolk. It's got chill. It was Primark and it was reduced. Again, it's one of those decorative um, cushions, really. Um, possible question mark. Maybe I should stay away from the smaller um, cushions now because uh, yeah, they don't get used that much. And as I said, I have got so many cushion covers it is absolutely ridiculous yeah look at this lot this is pretty disgusting you know what i will show you um each of the cushion covers i think don't think i did this i might have just done this with the um autumn cushion covers i'm sure i did where i showed you them all individually um, but I'm going to probably maybe even speed this up, but I'm going to go through the whole lot and I am going to make a decision and my aim, dare I say, at Sleet, I know there's a lot, I'm only, I'm only aiming to try and um, sort of get rid of five if I can. And I've got some that are in plastic here and then take it from there so at least five if I say five then um, maybe I'll um, actually get rid of some more so as I said I might end up putting some music to this part and um, you know just showing you um, some of them like that one I'm keeping that has actually got my name on it so um, my surname so I don't really want that shown and then we'll take it and see what I can actually get rid of. Right, here we go. <laughs>
right yes I know a lot of cushion covers um, as I said um not all of them have I purchased um, some have been gifts and I do tend to um, buy cushion covers and then just um, change them on the actual cushion pads just to save some room I've got two, a couple of new ones there that I don't want to rustle the paper um, you might have seen me throw some behind me um, these are queries um, I've got a few pink ones I don't I've got my big fairy um, cushion that I sometimes have in my downstairs um, cubby and then I've got some um cushion covers um that i just solely um have for the um craft cubby so i'm gonna make a decision so i'm pulling these out and that's a christmasy one that one is pink because it's the only place i do have some pink in and i do have this one that's got the tag on and um, it's not been used and although it's pretty it's got this pink and it's got this peach in and it's got the tag on that hasn't actually been used so I'm, I'm actually wondering I've had this I would think at least two years and I have not used it so you know what although I think it's very pretty in the colours the only thing I am actually thinking of is I want to do some work on that little doll bed and I want to make a little mattress cover. So I'm either going to get rid of it or I might use on the doll bed. And there's also this one here, this, pa this pastel pink one. And it does actually say, always on my mind. So this is, um, you know, sort of decisions, decisions. Um, but like I said, um, I want to do something with the doll bed. Um, and I don't know which ones, um, on the fence, which ones to actually keep. Um, I quite like that. Um, chic happens. I think that one is a keep. I might actually go... Um, may put that one on um my chair um but then again it is um valentine's day so i have got this one which says love or i've got this pastel one with the hearts so it's a case of umpen and narin which one do i keep and uh I don't think I used either one of these last year. You know what? I don't think this one's actually used. I am going to get rid of that one. I'm going to make some distances. This is going to take a long time. I'm only on cushion covers on the, uh, the first shelf. And you know what? This has got the tag on. Um, I might go and, I'm going to put it as going out. And then I'll see whether I use it on the doll bed or not. But I'm going to put that as leaving the home. So I am down to these two do I keep them this is the color of my chair and yeah I think that is quite nice do I keep that one and do I get rid of this one you know what let's get rid of that one this one I can use all year round so I've got what rid of three cushion covers that I actually have in my cubby and I've kept these two plus I've got my big pink furry one which you might have seen it's down here um, because the only reason I say that is um, that that is a larger um, cushion and um, case so I've kept those two so that's not bad right camera let's get rid of that one um, then I've got this one which says don't get your tinsel in a tangle. You know what? It's going. 
and then I've got this one which says um, home on it quite like that one but I do like my plain um, covers as well so I've got a dilemma over this one where, which one or would I um, keep both I've got this other Christmassy one I'm simply um, smitten with you you know what I'm going to let that one go and I've got this one which is like a um, envelope one I've on the fence about this one and then I've got this one I love sleep my life has the tendency to fall apart when I'm awake you know you know what I'm just going to let them go so I'm down to this one and these now <laughs> again I'm not sure on these two um, so I do like the plain ones it all depends if you've got patterned because obviously the red I only have mainly up in our room um, if I have plain bedding sometimes it's nice to have a patterned one if it's um, a patterned um, set I like um, a plain one so you know what I think I'm gonna let this one go and just keep the two red ones yeah I think that's what I'm going to do yeah and I'll keep the two plain red ones I said those ones I've also put over there a lot of those I haven't used in the last 12 months so I'm going to keep those two so um, not bad results so far and then I've got some new ones here um, this one's um, got my happy place on and then I've got this leaf one you know what I'm gonna let that one go I've got a lot of um, sort of autumn -y ones rubbish um, my happy place I do like these in the caravan so I might actually I've got actually one already got a happy place on in a caravan but I'm gonna that's why I bought it and um, with the sorry for the wrestle but it's the seaside sort of look I'm gonna take that into the caravan I'm gonna keep that one so not a bad result I must say I've got those two um, there's a query on two cushions behind me and um, I think what we'll do is we'll do a count at the end of this session to see how many items I actually get rid of so I'm going to go and put these up the top there and then um, get the next lot down right so this is the next segment here I've got new tea towels there this should be just hand towels, but I've got a couple of Halloween pieces here and tea towels that wasn't put away. So that goes really down the bottom there. This is bath sheets, bath towels and swimming towels. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to review this segment and see what I can get rid of. I may not film all this part because I'm not actually going to take... Um, this and this out but I'm going to have a look and make a decision as, as I keep saying this video is going to be too long alright I've pulled out one bath sheet that's got a hole in these are wearing thin I haven't bought bath sheets for ages except for the one that I bought um, a few weeks ago so I am replacing them and the others are swim towels so I would like to keep those and um, I've got rid of all the new tea towels set for two because I do tend to use the plain black ones um, all through the year except when I bring out say my Christmas ones and I've just kept this new one which has got like this apple on which I love so I've kept those two and there's a few items here that need to go into a different segment of the airing cupboard which is that pole there 
and that's the pile I'm getting rid of which consists of the bath sheet that's got a hole in and all these are brand new tea towels I'm going to see if my son and daughter will want them um, because say, they've just moved into their flat and there's all these to tell you the truth <laughs> they may be the same white ones are not ideal in our household I'd rather have the black ones and that one so there's quite a few items there to um, go into the to the get rid of pile those I'm keeping but need to go into a different segment so these are the next three I'm going for and I use a lot of these um, over the shelf baskets you can get them from B&M we well, can get them from most places but I've got them all mine I think as far as I remember from B&M so two of them um, actually have flannels and some of them have um, um, dusters and cloths and these sort of ones which are really good for spillages so these are the three that I'm going to do next right I sort of gone through these three baskets out this one I got rid of um, about four or five um, dusters brand new um, I've only kept two because I don't tend to use dusters um, because I use dust wipes I've got some cloths at the back there and I said these these cloths we use an awful lot um, both at home and in the caravan um, for mopping up any leaks or um, say um, um, defrosting the freezer that sort of thing because they soak up water and spills very quickly and then you just rinse them out I've also um, found my um, other oven gloves I have um, two pairs of black one's downstairs one spare and then these cream ones go to the caravan and I've gone through all my flannels so I've got my green and reddish um, maroony hand towels here then the flannels here then I have um, cream and brown ones here to go with these bath towels plus the dark brown ones um, tend to go to the caravan that's why there seems awful lot of um, stuff as well in here because as I say some of it's home some of it's caravan so out of those three I've managed to get some flannels and dusters out so the next bit is I'm going to sort this part out and, and then it will be underneath so it, this part will be next right so I have now finished the rest of the airing cupboard so in this basket here that is the um, laundry um, bag I use backwards and forwards to the um, caravan and when we're away any length of time these are the drying mats for the caravan and the blue ones as well the grey one I have in the kitchen then in here I have all the Christmas towels oven gloves um, tea towels and I've also got some um, Halloween tea towels there as well in this basket here I have all my internal bowl napkins and the yellow ones for Easter these napkins I've had a number of sets I had them for my 21st and we had them as wedding presents and then underneath I've got a, another basket and that's basically all napkins for Christmas I have cream and I have two red sets in there and some place red canvas like um, ribbed material mats that segment there has got things like um, tablecloths I've also got two antenna bar that go with the napkins I've also got runners and any other mats that I need for my dining room table and then I have an assortment of bath mats um, the ones on top of the ones that I use the most which are the cream ones underneath it's like Christmas and there is a Halloween one there I have two um, thicker mats there and at the back is these uh, material covers for the sofas we had them originally on the other sofas because they were leather especially in the summer because obviously the leather gets hot um, there's a question mark whether I'm actually going to get rid of them or not but I've left them for the moment so that is the airing cupboard now completed so I'm really pleased I've got that done and everything's organised yes I know I've got a lot of um, pieces in here but it's easier when especially when the boiler needs to be serviced it's easy to pull like these um, little shaving things out the individual baskets 
and things don't get so messed up because they just get pulled out and then put back in after the boiler's been serviced. So that is my airing cupboard um, completed and then I'll just show you what I have got um, rid of out of my cupboard. Right, so the items I've got rid of, I've got rid of um, quite a few of these um, um, dusters. I've only kept a couple. One, two, three, four, five. There's five dusters there. And I've got rid of one, two, three, four flannels, um, one bath sheet, um, and I got rid of some packs of um, tea towels here. Then I've got some um, cushion covers here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and count that as eleven. Um, cushion covers and one cushion so a really good result so I said 11 there 11 12 13 14 15 I say 16 17 17 I've got 18 I'll count that's one 18 19 20 so that's 20 items out of my airing cupboard so a really good result so hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye